is Wilson Lowe. Wilson is, is a professional in the social service sector and he specializes in elder care. So there are now a lot of elder. Wilson is a practitioner of the Bazi profiling system and he uses it as a tool for his coaching practice. His passion has always been to empower others to live a beautiful life. Wow. <laughs> right. So how did Wilson come out of this, come out of this topic? So he made three observations. We live in a world where perfection is pursued and celebrated. But while the quest, is, the quest for perfection is inspiring for some people, it could be an obstacle that's preventing many people from taking the action to pursue their dreams, to bring their desires to reality. So finally, we should remind ourselves that we can still pursue growth and success despite our imperfections. So let's welcome Wilson. Yes. Hi everyone, I'm Peng Gain. This is my first speech in Agora. So my name is Wilson. I came from a small town in Johor called Sagana. This is this is Singapore. This is Johor and this is where Sagana is. Yeah. It is it was known as a durian town because it's famous for a very long time ago. So tonight I'm going to share about my journey in learning English and the lessons I got out of it. I attended a Chinese primary school for six years in my hometown. All my subjects, except English and Malay, were taught in Chinese. And even my English teachers were, teach, uh, were teaching Chinese at the same time. And we spoke Mandarin during the English lesson. <laughs> so you have a rough idea how I've gone through the six years of English lesson in my primary school. I didn't know what past, present, and future tense were back then. Yeah. Yeah. Then, I went to a Chinese secondary school. This time, except English and Chinese, all subjects were taught in Malay. <laughs> <laughs> Although majority of the students are Chinese, we, we had to follow the national syllabus in Malaysia, which is taught in Malay. So my English was very, very bad. So my parents decided to send me for English tuition. Fortunately, the English tutor was good, and hence I only began learning proper grammar at the age of 13. I worked really, really hard because I was lagging so far behind. There's this, uh, I, I still remember how I learned my vocabulary. There's this English newspaper in Malaysia called The Star, yeah. which my dad subscribed daily. Every morning, somebody would deliver the newspaper to our house. But I wasn't interested in reading English newspaper at first until I've gone for tuition. I would always have a thick English dictionary and a few little notes beside me whenever I was uh, reading newspapers. Yes, I learned through the old school methods. No Google, no electronic dictionary, just physical dictionary. And by the way, this dictionary was passed down from my dad. So it has been around for many decades. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so it's gone to the English Chinese. So what I did was I, I read the newspaper articles from the beginning to the end write down all the words that I don't know, look them up one by one in the dictionary, and copy the definitions on the little notes. I learned every word by heart, and I did that for five years. Because we have to study for five years in the secondary school in Malaysia. There's no streaming option. So I sat for my O-level equivalent exam in secondary five, and this is my transcript. Wow! So, this is a result of the interesting Wow! Our English papers were up twice. The first based on the Malaysian standard, and the second based on the old level standard. So, although I scored A1 for my Malaysian English, what really gave me a huge sense of satisfaction was scoring A1 for my old level English as well. Wow. So my effort had paid off. Wow. After completing secondary school, I came... Hey, but the Chinese didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Which is a very high need. Okay. So after completing secondary school, I came to Singapore to pursue my tertiary education. And when, when I first came to Singapore to study in a polytechnic, my classmates could immediately tell that I was from Malaysia. Yeah. <laughs> Just from my accent. Yeah. Yeah. Even until today, some of my colleagues still laugh at my pronunciation and choice of words. Yeah. So I know my command of English is far from perfect. That's why I'm here at Agora to learn from all of you who are more 
competent and experienced than me. And I think Agora is a safe environment which allows us to embrace each other's imperfection. Yes. 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 We all have the desire to speak, but many of us don't feel we are ready yet at first. We are afraid of making mistakes. We are afraid of what others will think or say about us. And this applies in every aspect in life, not just of speaking. Are you ready to make a transition in your career? Are you ready to take up the next challenge in your business? Are you ready to break through your fear to do the one thing you have always wanted to, to start? If you are not ready yet, are you willing to try? Wow. It's our mistakes that make us human. As a human being, we are not only capable of making mistakes, but also learning from them and become wiser. Strive to be better, not perfect. We don't need to be right all the time. We just need to be better than our last time. And if you look at the paper, the, the, the program sheet behind it, why do we come to Agora? We come to Agora because we want to become a better listener, a better speaker, and a better leader. Do we come here to become the perfect listener, perfect speaker, and perfect leader? No. No, right? Because we are not perfect beings. We are all <coughs> masterpiece in progress. Yes. yes. And we are each beautiful in our own way. Yes. So, you are beautiful. You are amazing. You are good enough. <laughs> 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 Let's turn to the person sitting next to you. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and say this out to the person. <laughs> and conviction. It's not about being perfect, but about being a better person in whatever it is that you do. And um, personally, I think that's something that I kind of struggle with. I think I try to be uh, perfect. <laughs> so maybe most of us do, probably, I don't know. Uh, so really enjoyed that talk, and uh, you ended it very well by um, getting us all involved as well. Thank you, Wilson. Oh, yeah.